today I'm here with a new video and today it's once again time for a new first impression and today it's something that um, I'm pretty excited about and this is something it was a long time I bought something like that and I have bought its addresses everywhere I have bought from Nabla their new matte collection uh, and the packaging looks like this. I really love Nabla's own packaging. I have bought from them once before when I bought the Soul Bloom palette. But this is the matte collection and I love the box and also this. And I bought all of the 12 shadows even though I said I would not. But it was a really good bundle price um, for all of them. So I bought the shadows and you got this little plastic bag with it. And I also bought the palette. And I really like Nabla's magnetic palettes. I have four I think. Free. This is my fourth. Um, so I bought all the 12 shadows. And I also bought a new contour shade. This one I have wanted for a while now. But I don't think any stores in Sweden had this color. And I didn't want to buy from Nabla because the shipping is pretty expensive. Um... So now when I bought all of these matte shadows, I also bought, bought this. And this is the shade and glow in the color Gotham. That is supposed to be a really good contour shade for the pale people. And it looks like this. And I love Nabla's glow in this one. So... I haven't tried this for a long time, so I will try this today. The price for all of this was 70 euros. And for 12 shadows and this one, it's a super good price. And I really like this. It's pink with rose gold feathers. I think it looks pretty awesome. So this is the magnetic palette and it's 12 shadows. So all the shadows I oh, comes in this little packaging and it's the same as the palette, almost the same. So this is 12 matte shadows. So I'm going to show you a close up of all the shadows and I'm going to put them in in my palette and then we will start with the first impression. So this is all the shadows in the palette and I have sorted them like this. You can of course do whatever you want to but I want to have them like this for now and I don't really know what to do. I like this color and also this one. I haven't touched any of them, I haven't swatched any of them <laughs> so I don't really know how they look but I don't know either what to do but I think I maybe will take this one in my crease but I don't know if it's a little bit dark for that maybe I don't know and I really like these two colors so 
we will see what I will do and I will use an eyeshadow base no yeah an eyeshadow primer as usual and I are not going to set my base because I don't do that anymore I used to do it <laughs> every time but I've noticed that, that the colors stay more true to color if you don't and yeah I like it more if you don't set the eyeshadow base <laughs> the eyeshadow. and if you hear some noises one of the cat is eating food they always do it I'm recording and now I think it's Elsa that's doing it because she sounds a little bit more um, I don't know if I should use this brush this has become my favorite blending brush like of all times I really love this this is from BH Cosmetics I need to buy at least one more of these because this one is like the best brush I have ever used for my crease so what color should we use I think I want to do something pretty neutral um, because <laughs> this past couple of times I only I have used very much shimmer and also very much color but today I want to do something more a little bit toned down maybe we don't end up like it but we will see I think I will take this one and this is called Artemisa no kick up at all uh, and it doesn't show much on the shadow that I have taken this brush now it's a little bit of kick up I'm taking this on this fluffy brush and I will take it in my crease and this is a really nice color I have um, the soul blooming palette and I also have I think one now two single shades um, I don't know why I think I have to show you but yeah I got two other shadows from Nabla one shimmery that is called ground state this I got in a glossy box so I haven't bought it myself I don't think I would have bought that color if I could choose and the other one is a matte one and it's called paprika I think no peach velvet and this one I really really love so I have tried both their single shadows and also their one of their palettes they have two palettes and this one hair this shadow is freaking amazing I like the palette but I have heard that people say that Nabla's single matte shadows are even better than their matte shadows in the pan no in the palettes the single shadows are better than they in the that them in the palettes and I think I can I like my soul blooming but this shade is amazing for being a matte shadow have you ever tried anything from Nabla? I think that it's a really good brand they do really nice shadows and they are I think the whole range is vegan I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that everything they have is vegan yeah, everything is cruelty free and I think everything is vegan I really like Nabla but I don't talk about them as much and I don't know why but they are really good brand and I think they should have more cred than they do I remember when I first heard of Nabla it was a couple of years ago when it was many Swedish influencers that got PR from them and I don't feel like they have had their big breakthrough not in Sweden at least not so many people talk about Nabla even though they have so many different colors 
and the shadows are so good and now I don't really know what I'm doing I think I will have this color like this and this is so easy to work with and I really like this color I'm so happy with this one okay um so it was this one I think I want to do two shades on my lid but I don't know which shades I want to do maybe I should do something I want to take this one this one it's called Verve This is a little bit brighter than the color in my crease. And this is also a really nice color. So I think I will take a darker, darker color and deepen it up on my outer corner. And I think I will take this one, Sherry Shape. I will take this on my outer corner, I think, and deepen it down a little bit. Deepening up, deepen it down. I hope this turns out good because I'm doing another video after this. Okay, so this did work out good. And I will take it up. I really like this shade as well, even though I just put it on top. I just think I need to increase my increase my crease shadow. Which one was it? This was this one. Because these two I put on my lid is a little bit darker. And now my camera light is blinking. So I will I have no fallouts. Almost no falls fallouts at all. That's impressive. And um, my battery lamp is blinking so I will put you on charging and then I will fix the rest of my face and I will come back and tell you what I think but I only I think you already know what I think about these colors um, but I will fix the rest of my face put on some eyebrows some lips and we will try this Gotham or I will at least have it on I don't know if I will film it or not but I will try this as well so I will put your charge in the charging dock and I will come back when I have my full face on so this is the finished look and I am really happy with it it's not something I used to do I usually do um, I did a couple of years ago, but now it's been a long time since I did something like this. It's a lot darker than I usually do, and it's not that colorful, and it's also not warm. I usually do warm eyeshadow looks, but this, I really like this look. I'm really happy with it, and uh, so I used... Uh, this one in my crease, this one on my lid and also this one to darken it down a little bit and underneath my eyes I used this and this and I also used this light shade in my inner corner just to lighten it up a little bit because it was very dark but I didn't want any shimmer I just wanted it a little bit lighter and that worked super great so I'm really happy with these shadows so I have tried four of the shadows and I want to do a look with only this row and also maybe try this two in one look so I really like these colors they are super easy to blend with some of them are super matte and some are just matte Unfortunately, it just says on this little packaging, it not say anything on the eyeshadow, I think. 
now there it's all in the names but so some of them are super matte and some of them are just matte but they are really easy to work with and I am super pleased with this and I think the look turned out great maybe this is my autumn thing I even go a little away from the warm colors and I also use the shading color I don't do a lot of contouring I just want a little bit and I don't know if it shows on the camera but I used it and it worked great so I'm super happy with that also and I have used a blush from Nabla and also a highlight from Nabla but I am super happy with the colors the one I've tried and I hope all the colors are as good as the one as ones I have tried so my first impression is that I am super happy with the colors I want to play with this more maybe do some more neutral looks now step away a little bit from the colorful just for a couple of videos maybe so that was all for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and liked it and if you do please press like and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!